So I want to thank everybody for, for jumping on here. Obviously, we have Vivian and you saying we're going to start with Vivian uh, ahead of the Powell sisters participation in the Augusta National Women's Amateur. So we'll start with questions for Vivian and we'll go with uh, you guys and just unmute yourself and go. No need to raise hands and we'll get started. Vivian, Damien here from uh, KOLD. So this is obviously the, the third year that you and both you guys have, uh, have been invited to this thing, but only the second year playing because of COVID. Um, when you found out last year that Augusta wasn't going to happen, what went through your mind? Um, both of me and my sister was kind of sad by the first time we hear about the news. And then, yeah, cause we was in the States and then we got the news about like, also the NCAA championship and then the, like the whole Pac-12 uh, events got canceled. And then we was planning to go back home and then like everything just happened in like so fast and then just by a moment. And then, yeah, it's really sad news, but like we working really hard to, uh, to like um, to working really hard to like improve ourselves. And then, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's still excited to be back in this year. And then, yeah. And uh, as soon as, you know, COVID hit and pretty much canceled everything, what was the plan for you moving forward between that point and then the start of the season and when you got back to the U.S.? Uh, I would say that uh, me and my sister, it's really lucky that Taiwan is uh, actually doing pretty well, like controlling everything about COVID. Like we had really low case like COVID and uh, we still have tournament to play and then we had pretty much uh, really like normal life going on back home. So like we still got to practice and then like doing everything workout. So yeah, I mean, we doing pretty good back home and then we just got back uh, February and everything still went really well. And we work really hard to being prepared for like every tournament. And how would you compare how Taiwan handled COVID versus the U.S. just from living in, in both countries? Um, I'll say because Taiwan, it's like, like way more smaller than U.S. And then, I mean, even though we had a lot of people like living in like this kind of small country, but I mean, everyone is um, wearing masks like properly, and then like we doing really good job like controlling the people traveling like on and off like the uh, airport. And but I think uh, we think that it's actually like everyone doing pretty good here as well, like when we got back, like everyone wearing masks as well and then wash their hands and then like controlling the people like in the uh, supermarket. And yeah, I think the whole situation should be fine. Like, yeah. I just wanted, I just wanna know how you and your sister deal with nerves pre-round, you know, cause this is, you're playing with the best amateur women's golfers in the entire world. So, you know, how do you deal with your nerves? Um, I mean, we are very lucky that we have each other like on and off the golf course because we kind of like live together and then like we, we, we are really lucky that we have um, each other on the golf course that we can feel that we supporting each other like even though we are not in the same group that we still know that like oh my sister is chilling up for me like on the other side of the golf course or like yeah even though we play like not in the same group like, it feels really it feels really like amazing like on the golf course and then with my sisters playing same events with me yeah and then do you get a caddy uh, yes who's your caddy I'm not sure yet, but we have like the local caddy. Like okay, it's a local caddy. Yeah. Okay. 
Vivian, take us back to 2019 um, at Augusta. What's one moment that stood out to you that you remember vividly? Um, um, I'll say, uh, like walking down the, like the final round of the tournament, like, cause me and my sister both missed the cut by one stroke. So we, like, we are not able to play for the final round of it, but we still got a chance to like walk to like being a spectator. Like, so we get the chance to watch the final round of it. Like, it's amazing. Like the, like the fans, like everyone support the events and then like, it's, amazing so like when I saw like people playing the final round there like one thing in my head I'm like oh I'm gonna like make the cut next year and then like be out there and then play the final round there it would be amazing like that is the the motivation for me like about like playing the final round there Do you talk to your playing partners or do you keep kind of to yourself throughout the round? Uh, you mean like talk to- you Just kind of a little chit chat with your playing partners as you know, yeah. walking up the fairway or do you, you know, kind of keep to yourself? Yes, yes. Like I do that a lot. I like, I, I like uh, talk with other people a lot. Like that makes me like uh, keep myself away or nervous too. Like I like, I like talk with other people a lot. <laughs> Yeah. And, and then the courses, uh, the course we play in Georgia, this champions retreat, then hopefully Augusta National, the, it, I mean, around the greens is thick, rough. It's kind of hard to find that in Arizona. So how do you practice that? And then another shot is like a punch shot out of trees, you know, 150 yards, try to keep it low. How do you, you know, practice that shot? Are you trying to practice it on the driving range, you know, try to keep it below the flags? Yeah, still like, uh, I have those golf course like champions retreat and like augusta like those course like in my head like really good so i had to like like imagine those shots and then like find a similar shots to practice like like uh around the there's a course but it's hard but i still like trying to find a similar way to practice yeah where does uh, augusta rank among courses that you have played at uh, the rank, um, not, um, like the, like some of the top courses that uh, you played at. Yeah. Like Augusta is different. Number one that ever play like that course. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Vivian, after uh, COVID shut down the season last year, how much did you consider not returning to Arizona and Tucson? Um, like last summer, we was planning to come back for some of the tournaments, but like me and my sister and my family talks a lot about that. And it's really hard to make a decision planning to come back or not and even I have um women's open to play like the end of the year uh, in December and it's really hard decision but we just make a decision to not come back for the U.S. Open and but for this uh season like it's our postseason and it's my uh, sophomore year and I really like we really want to me and my sister really want to play like the national together so it's like our first goal to play like for our college uh, career so we are just planning like we are 100 percent sure we want to play the national championship together so yeah that's the like the first I, I would say like the first we sure uh, like our dream so yeah we just planning to go back, come back. Yeah. Alrighty, any other questions for Vivian? 
Awesome. Thank you, Vivian. Thank Thanks you so much. Time. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. We'll tilt it over. Da -da -da -da. Let me change, uh, give you a change here on the name for you saying. All right, and with that, we'll start with questions for you saying. Uh, Seth, you're off mute first. I'll let you go first. Okay. Um, so kind of, um, kind of some, some of the same questions I asked Vivian. So do you deal with your nerves the same way, kind of, you know, dry energy off of her? Uh, yeah, pretty much the same, but like, uh, we, what was the question again? Sorry. How do you, you know, it's kind of the same question I asked her. How do you deal with yeah. your nerves? Oh, I, I more like keep it myself. I only talk to my sister. I'm not like, like really outspoken when I'm on the course. So I'm just like more keeping myself just in my, just knowing like my sister is just kind of supporting me in mind. So, yeah. And then are you, are you both in Georgia right now? No, we actually in Phoenix playing a tournament. We're playing the ASU invitation this week and then we're gonna fly directly to Atlanta after it. Okay, have you been to, I mean, you've been to Georgia before. What do you think about the South? It's a, it's a different place than Arizona. So, you know, it's what are you guys' opinions? It's definitely different. Like a lot of trees, really greeny. Like mm -hmm. definitely different than the desert, but we like it. We really like, we really enjoy like going to travel to different places and we like it, yeah. Do you think, you know, it's a little, you know, take some time to adopt to that, you know, type of game. Cause it is, the courses are different, you know, tree line courses, thick grass. So do you think you struggle, you know, do you, how many practice rounds do you get to you know, get yourself ready for that? It, uh, the caddy is definitely going to help a lot with like, uh, get to know the golf course and actually to have the experience the first year in uh, 2019 and that helps more. And then to be honest, like to like me and Vivian travels a lot, like, uh, around the world like around the country so we kind of have the idea like uh, how to adapt it to the new uh, environment so I think it would be the best just to practice with uh, communicate with the uh, caddy to know get to more like mm -hmm. the course yeah I wasn't sure if you guys were playing if the tournament in Phoenix kind of what kind of you know stuff do you, you guys do make sure you're comfortable on the road with all the traveling make sure your clubs always stay in one piece yeah it's actually pretty uh it's always really nervous when you actually have to put, we have to put a lot of towels around our bag just to make sure we don't want to open the, the travel bag and just see like there's two clubs losing or like break into the half. So <laughs> we definitely uh, pay attention, a lot of attention to that. And, and after actually just traveling so much and you just, you know, like why you need for the road, you don't want to overpack there, you don't want to underpack there. So like for college, we always have the pack list just to make sure everything is prepared, yeah. That's great, yeah, I, I, I broke a leg on my golf bag all the way here, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you don't, we don't want that to happen. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you. You saying same question that I gave Vivian, what do you remember about where you were when you found out that uh, Augusta wasn't going to happen? I was, uh, I wasn't really surprised because we talked about it before it because we just like, uh, so what are we going to do now? We have no season. We probably not going to have Augusta. So it wasn't like really, really shocked me at first after I knew the news, but it just really sad like, uh, oh, we might not, we can't go this year. So it's just pretty much just more sad, but I feel like, uh, it's for the best, like they do that for a reason, yeah. And what does it mean to both you and your sister to be invited for a third straight year? It's definitely something special. We didn't really, uh, we're really happy that we can go back again. And especially after first year, we both didn't make the cut. So we're definitely looking forward this year to both make the cut and playing the last round of the Augusta. And what are your uh, expectations going into it? I know you, like you said, you want to make the cut, but is there like a certain goal that you want to meet when you play in this, a, a tournament like this? Well, definitely like you wanted to be able to finish at the top of the, the list. Cause it's a really great feel. Like we have players from all over the world that rank top in the uh, amateur ranking. So we definitely want to be able to just play our best and just enjoy the environment mostly. Yeah. And are you familiar with uh, some of the players that are in the tournament? 
Yes, like it's actually a lot of people playing the college tournament, and there's actually a lot of players actually playing the same week, like we're playing the Phoenix tournament. So it's gonna be fun. Yeah. A anybody in particular? Uh, you mean the players? Yeah, certain players that you're friends with. No, we have another player come from Taiwan. Now we're gonna meet her, and we got really exciting. They we used to play tournament with. Yeah. And uh, the the last time that you played in it, and then you didn't make the cut. What, what were some of the errors that, that you made that didn't allow you maybe, maybe to play your best? So uh, uh, my first year, I feel like the huge uh, mistake that I did is I had like few holes. I have a huge numbers. I can't recover with just one or two birdies. So I definitely paid more attention to that. It's just like the core strategy and just like the uh, paying attention to the where I gonna miss it. Yeah. And uh, do you remember the the whole numbers that really gave you the most problems? Uh, I don't remember the number, but I remember the hold. <laughs> and I don't want to like repeat it this year. I just think that I'll do better than that because it's a stupid mistake that I can avoid, not just like something I can't. Yeah. Well, we'll take us through it. What happened? So I think uh, first round on. 18 that was my last hole and it was just a par five it wasn't a really hard par five but I just hit it to the tree hit into the bunker it took me like three shots to get out of the bunker I, I think I had an eight or something and that took me to like two over of the day and then the second day I have another par five no it's actually a par four no par five and I tried to reach it for two and I missed it to the water and just another double so it's just a big number for those two days and that cost me a lot yeah to miss the cut. You say, how do you describe the experience of playing at Augusta National? It's definitely something I'll remember for my entire life, I think. It just to be able to be part of it and like there's no female player like players actually to be able to compete in Augusta National. So to be able to have this uh, experience is definitely something really special and just something you keeping your book <laughs> oh sorry i think you were mute yeah there i think you're on mute on your phone not on zoom you're on mute on your phone because you're turn you're not on mute on zoom but we can't hear you Still Justin here. or David, do you want to hop in and we'll go back to David? Yeah, um, you saying same question that I asked Vivian as well. Uh, once COVID shuts everything down last year, what were those discussions like between you, your family, and then with Laura as well, as you're weighing your choices as to whether or not to return to Tucson and play, play again for Arizona or turn pro? It was definitely something that we've been discussing through the whole summer last year. And uh, well, like last fall, we don't have a season, so there's no reason for us to just come back. But like to actually see a lot of countries to have those high numbers and like to, it's just really uh, scary actually, to be honest. But a lot of, and we talk, we have a meeting with the coaches a lot of times that they were saying like, it's actually, is not as, it seems the number seems really high, but it actually doesn't feel that way when you're in the state. And I asked multiple friends that uh, went back to this, uh, come back to the state earlier, and they were like, it's actually not that bad. And then the main point is like, I feel like just to play, because it, it's my senior year, it might be my last year to play for uh, the Wildcat. So we feel that we want to make it memorable, like uh, to, and especially with the national got canceled last year. And we wanted to make it do it. And then just with my sister, just something really special. Yeah. All right, David, we'll take it over back to you, David. You're on mute on Zoom. Still nothing, David. OK. Uh, any other questions for you, saying before we wrap this up? Yeah, I'll throw one more in. So uh, second place finish at the Clover Cup as you guys get ready for ping. What would you guys take away? from Clover? Uh, Clover Cup was so close to, to win the tournament. And I mean, my per I personally didn't play well the last round and just to actually discuss a lot with the coaches about the whole whole thing. But I think we did, the whole team definitely on the, same, uh, on the right track. We just have to, everybody just have to 
just focus on their game, just try the best they can to shoot the lowest score. Because, you know, there's a lot of great teams here. We have to stick with our plan. Yeah. All righty. Thanks, Usain. Thank, Thank you for your time. Thank Good you. luck in the tournament. And we'll, uh, we'll be watching you over in uh, the Augusta National Women's Amateur here. Have a good cool one, luck. everybody. Thank you. Good luck. DK, it's whatever device you're on, the mic's not working on it because it doesn't show you on mute on Zoom, but it does. <laughs>